Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with Factorio, where the uh, the new bot-based factory is coming together. It's uh, a flurry of activity, as you can see. Uh, I kind of came up with this idea. I think I mentioned it last episode briefly, but uh, a, a very common base design is is the uh, the old good old main bus design. It works pretty well. It's pretty awesome. It, it worked to get us to the stage, um, and then. I see other people kind of evolve that idea to more of um, an idea where they have these city blocks and then each block is dedicated to building something like let's say red circuits or green circuits. And then it's really easy to, once you have it, to duplicate it. Like if you need more red circuits, just build a whole city block of red circuits. And then train everything into um, like a mass hub where you put everything together. I kind of... I think that's a really cool idea, but it causes a lot of train congestion as you grow. Um, maybe not congestion, but a lot of a lot of moving around, I guess, is what I'm going to say. The concept I had with this base was, can I fit a base that can launch a rocket with bots in either a city block or two city blocks? That's the uh, that's the plan. And, and if I can do that, once it's all set up and refined, I can simply copy the whole factory, the mini factory, and like plunk it down here, let's say. Uh, and if, you know, I need more capacity, if I want another rocket launch, I just copy the whole thing. I know it seems kind of crazy, but it makes the, the ease of scaling like extremely simple. Now, I do want to keep piping outside of this because piping you know you have to pipe everything in so I'm using barrels for a lot of stuff now um, you can see here I'm unloading sulfuric acid barrels to make uh, these blue chips this uh, what are they called processing units so if we can import the barrels with bots and then export the barrels the empty barrels with bots that's what I'm doing here now I, I'm using um, these active provider chests which I've never used before they're actually pretty good this thing kicks out empty barrels, and I don't want the empty barrels like potentially clogging up this chest. So what these chests do is they just immediately, let's read the tooltip for them. They're a little bit, uh, I wouldn't say confusing, but interesting. They, um, sends its contents to the logistics network. Now it does it immediately. So basically it says, uh, kick this stuff out of here. So the minute a barrel appears near an empty barrel, it'll shuffle it off to our storage. Now I've got a few storages here. This one's kind of been fine. It's working. Last episode we had built maybe a little bit here. I think we had some red science, green, and I, I think I started the military science. Um, it's not really in high demand right now. So uh, we're scaling this up. We're going to tear down the old factory today. It's still kind of, I won't say it's chugging along. It's actually pretty inactive now. In fact, it's it's dead. This factory is dead. <laughs> now we just need to tear it down. I kind of wanted to keep it online in order to mine out this last little bit of iron, and it's almost gone. But I think what I'll do is probably just um, smelt the rest here and send the smelted iron up north to be sp to be consumed here. So where are we getting the iron? We got an iron patch here, sixty-eight million. Um, not not every single patch is covered, but uh, iron ore is coming out here. I did use belts here. I was botting from here to here, which was kind of stupid. Uh, and then we smelted here with electric furnaces, which I'll eventually beacon for more speed. And then we're chucking them in these uh, passive provider chests. I guess these could be active provider. I don't want to stuff my storage though, so that's why I kept them as passage, or passive. Sorry. Uh, let me go back there. Uh, let's see here. So I've got three layers. We could put more layers of buffers here. Now there is a, spe a specific buffer chest, but I'm not using them. So yeah, there's lots of activity between here and here because it's bringing copper plate. Not too far, actually. Not just over to the, I would say this is the main factory. And if we keep this main mini factory, if we clone it once it's all ready to go, let's say we clone it up here. The iron won't have far to go. Now we will need to bring more iron in. I've got another iron patch here, which is being 
Oh, sorry, this one's steel. I'm converting iron into steel on site. Putting in some of these. I'm actually make, I'm probably going to change these, actually. Because this could potentially stuff up our storage. How much steel do we have? 46k. Yeah, we don't need 46k sitting around. I'm going to change these back to passive provider. Yep, and I'm, i I, I got to start using blue belts everywhere. I did red belts here, but... So we'll upgrade those to passive provider. And it's okay if they fill up. They probably won't because it's just being sucked out of here. Now we could belt it. We could belt it over to the factory, but I just kind of want to keep everything bot based. Because if we add another mini factory here, then, you know, we don't have to do any new belts. All we do is stamp it down and assuming there's there's uh, materials available in these kind of buffer chests, passive provider chests, then we don't have to really do much work to scale up. It is kind of messy right now. This is kind of the, the alpha version of the bot factory. I kind of want to get the ratios down and, and optimize it a little bit. Uh, it has been fun to put down concrete here. I've been putting down concrete. Uh, you go any bigger here? Yeah, let's go big. Let's go big. And I'm trying to get the the bots to do everything. That's pretty awesome. I should per probably carry more concrete with me, but I got another oh, another slab. I want to put it down in the main factory just because I'm running around a lot and I want it to be fast. So yeah, that's a lot of uh, a lot of bots, a lot of activity. I built this lab here just so I could see to make sure research was being conducted without having to look over here in our main lab processing. I moved this one up a few city blocks. It was here before, now it's here. Closer to the factory. So I have a bit of a template now for this. And here it is right here, the bot craft. I'll just show you this. This is a tier three assembler with a provider chest set to one stack and a requester chest. And then let's say I want, um, I don't know, inserters here. So all I have to do is select that and then right click, left click to get the request of what it needs in there. And then it's off to work, it's off to the races. I'll make sure it starts up here. Let's play starving for plate. Oh, on the way. No, we got 26,000 in storage. We got lots of plate in storage. So there it is. It's working away. Now, if I want more, it's simple. I just clone it. Uh, the power pole didn't clone. I didn't want to copy the ground there, so... Anyway, this is coming out. This is not this is an example. So I've got that template. I probably will do a separate template for something like... Uh, liquids-based ones where I'm bringing in barrels. Like these engines here. So this is taking uh, lubricant barrels. I have way too many here. Let's constrain this. Actually, that's a, that was been that was requesting 187. Oh, we don't need that many. I should probably copy that all the way down. Actually, oh, that one's sulfuric acid though. What's this one requesting? 187. Oh, there's probably a reason it picked 187. I think when you right click. Shift right click, I should have said. Shift right click, shift left click on between assembly machine and requester chest. It picks the numbers here. So it picked one, four, and three. But sometimes it, it asks for way more, depending on... I think it's based on this. It's probably a per minute or per second uh, set of things that it requests. Because sometimes the numbers are way bigger here. Let's see if we can find something else here. Uh, engines... But this, yeah, this was requesting 75 green circuits. What does it actually need? 75. So it's like three and a little bit more than it needs. Right, how are we doing for yellow science? Yellow science is bottleneck right now. It's not getting enough flying robot frames. Uh, and frames, we're missing batteries. Batteries, I, I need to scale up, I think. I'm doing them down here. Now, I do have chemical factories in this factory. So we're flying in bottle uh, barrels of sulfuric acid, turning into uh, batteries. I think we need to scale this up. So scaling up is easy. Super easy. Just copy this. 
And step it down. Do I need more? Uh, something is not quite right here. Uh, actually, that's fine. Why is it? Actually, something looks wrong here. <laughs> Uh, that's the left, left, left. Oh, it's because I have this extra chest. I copied... I copied the bottom by mistake. This thing's kind of three tiles wide. That's what I want right there. Yeah, so things are going pretty well. I think I might need another one of those. Oh, that was my stomach. Loud. I just had dinner and... It sounds like I'm hungry. Okay, so up here, this is the beginning of the Mega Mall. This is where we build the things to build the factory. So it's the factory to build future factories. It's everything I'd ever need. Uh, I haven't added everything yet, but it's got a lot of stuff in here, especially modules. I might need like a dedicated module factory because I want to, you need a lot of modules. Uh, I haven't beacon stuff yet, so I... these layouts might change if I try to beacon all this stuff for even more speed. Speaking of speed, I should probably put some productivity modules in the expensive stuff, like this processing units. Yeah, I'm walking through. I'm walking through here, even though there's that's a pipe connection. And anyway, let's see what we got here. Productivity module threes is what I want. Uh, control left click. This will slow these down, but we'll get lots of free processing units out of this. And if we need more, we can just build more. Uh, what else is expensive? Is that, well, oh, the science is an end product, so we can't use productivity. As far as I know, let's just double check. Oh, wait a minute, we can. Well, maybe it's not considered end product because it is... Oh, that's interesting, actually. Because science has turned into... Wait a minute. Can we do this? Yeah. Why didn't I do this before? Jeez. I guess because it goes in the lab? Yeah, let's do that. Because those are expensive. Same here. These are really expensive. Let's do lots of productivity here. I'm not doing much purple science at the moment. Let's let's clone this. We'll do uh, four for now. Okay, so up, uh, up here... I kind of cloned, it's a little bit, it's slightly different, uh, cloned my oil setup. Actually, none of this is running. Hmm. I think something bad happened. Let's go check. <laughs> I think something backed up here. It's probably the lubricant. I think I was turning the lubricant into solid fuel. He, actually, that's still okay. It's, it's not a lubricant issue. What's going on here? Light oil? The light oil is backing things up. That's a first. I put speed modules on here, so maybe it's because of these. Oh no, we're not using uh, petroleum gas. What are we doing here? Uh, petroleum gas is backed up. It's probably because I added this whole thing. This is just basic oil processing. I was lazy yet again, and I just wanted some petroleum gas, but... Um, I think we can safely turn this plastic bit back on. This power pole's on the wrong side. If we're gonna be... Uh, I'm stuck in the pipes! Help! Help! <laughs> okay, uh... Should we clone this? I think so. Start eating that petroleum bastard. That's probably a kind of plastic for now. We got speed modules level one in here. That's all backed up. Lubricant has some automation on here. Now this is going to be kind of a problem if we can't consume this stuff fast enough. But we're going to eventually be building rocket fuel, so that's not a problem. Let's, uh, let's start dismantling the factor, because that was the, that's the title of this video. 
dismantling the old factory. I think the new one is going well enough that we can do this. We could do it from the map view, but I'm going to just go in, say goodbye to the old factory once and for all. Um, actually, we could still start using this stuff. No, I'm going to send this to the new factory. It is trickling in, but let's just let's just rip her out. Rip her out, baby. Goodbye. Uh oh, inventory's full. Here we go. There goes the bots. We need more bots, that's for sure. How many do we have now? Five, six thousand logistic, five thousand, fifty-five hundred construction. We're gonna scale it up to more. <laughs> Inventory full. Oh, we got a bunch of sulfur on this. Barrels of junk. Let's make sure those barrels get ejected right away. Same with sulfur. I never want that in my pocket. Fish. I don't need fish. All the biters are pretty much gone. <laughs> Let's make their fish get kicked out of our inventory. The biters only exist in this corner now and I've let this is the biter zoo they're very angry <laughs> I might drop a nuke on this and and make this the remaining biter island down here right here there's some biters out down here I kind of want to go visit that island <laughs> uh, okay factory you're not really harming anything at the moment but you're not really doing anything either I guess you're making a few red circuits here and there making batteries here let's rip it out Let's rip it out. This will be satisfying. This will be satisfying. Uh, let's just go rip it out. This will be the biggest bot job ever. Now, I think everything here has been duplicated so far. Uh, yeah. Lasers, we don't need any more. We're not fighting any battles anymore. Plastic can come out. Some of these pipes I want, might want to keep just for a little bit longer. Probably not, but... That's going to keep them busy. All this can come out. Okay, modules. Dynamite. I don't... Yeah, our inventory is definitely going to get it full. <laughs> uh, they'll, they'll clear it out, though. We'll, we'll get through it. Shells, don't need shells anymore. Our battle is over. Sulfur and sulfuric acid come out. The bus can come out. Goodbye, bus. What have we got in here? Modules. Rockets. Don't need rockets anymore. The bus is coming out. You know, it's all coming out. It's all coming out. I think I pretty much have duplicated everything up top now. This will take them a very long time. <laughs> We'll leave the we'll leave the mines because I want to get those patches out of there. Oh, we're gonna get a bazillion air messages here. <laughs> uh, oh, I cut the power. That's probably not good. Let's make sure we don't cut the power yet. We need the power. Uh, that didn't reach it. There we go. Oh, this power is probably not even hooked up to anything. <laughs> that sh is this on the, on the network? No, I cut the wrong power pole somewhere. Is this hooked up? Yeah, this one's hooked up. Okay, power is restored. I need to leave the robo port though, so. Yeah, we'll keep that in. Oh, maybe I did too. Maybe I did too much at once. <laughs> We're just killing our bots here. Oh man, we need more robo parts for them to escape and stuff and charge. So let's put some of those down. Yeah, put some power down for them just to get this out of here. Wow. What a flurry of, of activity. Look at these, these like, whoa, the circles just like blew away there. Oh, Powerful, I want you. 
I should have done this a little bit in a, a little bit more controlled manner. <laughs> Is this on the network? Yep. What's our power in demand right now? Oh my gosh, we're using the full power. Oh, holy crap. We're using the full nuclear power plant. <laughs> wow. Okay, we'll just let them catch up. I think I sent them too much work. <laughs> wow. Amazing. I've never seen us uh, peek out the reactor yet. That'll settle back down, though. Oh. <laughs> it actually takes a lot of bots to pull apart a factory. It served us well, though. It got us our first uh, rocket. Whoa, that was like a little piece of fireworks that just went out there. It served us well. It got us our first 20 or so rockets. Oh, they're following me. <laughs> My inventory is definitely full. <laughs> uh, let's put a, some storage here real quick. So they can offload. We'll tear this down later. Once they catch up here. I don't have processing units yet, so the, the uh, rocket itself will have to uh, move. Come on, boys. Okay, what's the, the, the plan here? Oh, look at all those bots. That's crazy. Look at them all charging up. I love it. I love it. This is probably I should something I should have done off camera, maybe. <laughs> it's going to take them a while. Uh, the smelting. I guess I'll leave the smelting online. I just want to... Because copper has one million left. A little bit of stone. Yeah, there's a little bit left here. We'll just belt that up towards the factory and then chuck it in chests so the bots don't have to travel as far. Now, we're going to need more supplies. If we if we get this mini factory working and launching rockets, then we're going to have to uh, bring in more resources. So all these patches down here, I'm going to have to train up. Oh, wow, I can retire this. That's not used anymore. But like this copper patch here. I will mine and ref and turn into plates here, and we'll train it up to maybe around here. I don't think I need that crazy of a train network because there's not that many ore patches around. And once we've kind of tapped them all, we kind of set off this ticking time bomb where we're probably going to run out of resources if we really scale the factory. I wanted to see if I could hit 100,000 bots. Uh, so that's kind of a, the new goal. The old goal is not to rocket. The new goal is um, 100,000 robots and maybe I was getting maybe a, a rocket a minute. We were getting close to that before we ripped out the factory. But That was cool. It's funny when they like spray out like fireworks. Is this going down? We need more space. Okay. Oh yeah, because I tore a lot of these chests out. There's lots of logistics chests up top though. As long as they can reach the uh, the top network, we should be okay. I think they're moving stuff. Storage, storage looks fine. Cause there's not that. There's usually that not that much in each thing here. Cause all the bots, uh, should be, all the logistics bots are probably busy. This is not going down though. Probably cause there's no bots can't actually reach that section. So I took out the uh, hubs. I think. Let's go there again. Where the heck is that? That's down here. Okay, we better go restore bot 
talking bots to the hubs to this place here. They're gonna need power. That is a lot of activity. This doesn't have to be that tidy because we're gonna rip it apart. Need to make sure there's power. Yeah, that's charging. That's charging. I think I'll put some storage in just right here so they can just start dumping here for now. <laughs> oh man. Let's set up another rule here. Purple signs we don't want in our inventory. Yellow signs we don't want in our inventory. White, white signs we don't want in our inventory. Okay. Poor little bots. I gave them way too much work. 365. <laughs> Went down by one. Construction bots. They're slowly getting at it. <laughs> Let's just go dump our stuff, our stuff in uh, inventory here. Uh, I'm just gonna indiscriminately start chucking stuff in here. They get, we'll bring it back if I need it. Oops, not my blueprint book. Uh, yeah, I think they're gonna start bringing stuff back to me. Stuff I might need. Okay, the number's going down. That's a good sign. We should have used Spidey to help out. Where's uh, where's our spider? He usually shows up with a special icon. I think I park, parked him around. Hopefully I didn't deconstruct him. I don't think you can deconstruct him. Oh, he's over there. Let's go pick up Spidey. Because he'll have his own little logistics network that we can use. While these guys are doing their thing. Chaos! <laughs> Look at this. Total chaos. Okay, where where are you? We could use the remote to bring him to us. Let's try that. I haven't shown the remote being used yet. Is it on me? Uh here it is. Spidertron remote. Come to Papa. Here we go. And we can chain we can chain requests. So let's send him. Send him in there. And we'll head over there as well. My poor bots. Look at this. Oh, they're so sad. Getting recharged. There's Spidey. Somewhere. Where are you? Where'd he go? <laughs> Oh, he's down there. You got ahead of me. Okay. Spidey, you're gonna help me do some work. We could make another one of these. That would be actually pretty good. Let's get inside. Ooh. And get him to do some work here. Let's take this out. There's no hub network here anymore, so we gotta bring this over. Along with some power. It's coming apart. We're down to 21, 25, not, not enough storage. This is not true, I don't think. There is storage, it's just not close. It's up here. There's definitely storage here. Definitely storage. Uh, oh, it just, that message just went away on its own. Okay. OK, 
Okay. Take this out. Oops. I could make a deconstruction planner for everything but hubs, but I don't think I'll do that. While they're doing all that, let's manually bring this coal up top. Bricks we could bring as well. It's already built. The stuff that's already built, we'll just we'll use it. Let's cut off stuff right here. That we can do. We'll send what was the bus up north. Maybe from here. Or it starts to go vertical. Yeah, something like this. Those green circuits aren't going anywhere. Okay, we're gonna bring a belt up this way. That's iron. up this way. Let's merge this onto here. Oops, no. <laughs> no mixing of the belts. <laughs> uh, if you guys saw last night's episode, or yesterday's episode when I recorded last night, uh, probably was a little bit disorganized. I apologize. I was kind of, kind of sleepy. <laughs> It wasn't any later than normal, but... Oh, I got landmines here. Jeez. Yeah, I was just kind of brain fried. Here, we're going to take this up. How far are we going here? Where the hell am I? <laughs> this is not a long-term thing. This is just uh, to get stuff closer to the new base. I should just get the boss to build this. I should never build things anymore by by hand. Okay, we're gonna chuck that in a passive provider chest so we can get to it. Or maybe even active provider. Yeah, let's do that. that actually, that'll stuff our storage. We don't want that. <laughs> Change my mind. Stack and turn maybe it makes more sense here. Some power up there. Closer. There we go. Okay. I just want to drain the old base of resources. And I don't necessarily want to build a train. Can I hit something here? Drop it right here for now. Okay, power check. There wasn't, there's not much left in the old base in terms of iron relative to uh, some of our other stuff. Yeah, that'll make its way up there. We'll do the same with uh, steel. Oh, we're off the network here. Cut the power to the core. Is there power on this thing? Yep. Okay, power restored. The old mall. I think we can take this out. I'm trying to be a little bit more careful this time. Not to let them get exhausted. I guess this shouldn't have gone. Maybe those. Yeah, we're taking out the mall. We'll restore the power after. <laughs> oh yeah, beacons, that reminds me, I gotta build beacons in the new base. We'll oversaturate them again. And we'll, we're gonna use solar panels long term. 
And I'm going to come up with a design that's going to fill up the whole city block with solar panels and accumulators. Because nuclear is really cool, and it's really dense. But I kind of like solar. We could just clone this whole nuclear thing and get another 480 megawatts. Okay, we cut the power again. Not a problem. No, uh, logistics are there. Wow. Uh, let's see. That's a lot of bots, but nothing compared to what I want to do. We'll let them catch up here. Construction, uh, construction zero of 6690. No wonder there. Kind of behind. I actually want to build some stuff, so let's go build. Um, we're gonna go build. Maybe we can get the rocket actually. Let's get the rocket in our pocket. Man, too much stuff on me. They are taking it away. They're slowly getting rid of it. I didn't really need to make all those anyway. Uh, rocket in the pocket. We have a rocket silo. And I just filled up my pocket again. Rocket fuel is set to be purged. Oh man, that thing was full of stuff. I'll make sure this thing isn't building anything. I think there's probably a satellite on the ground here. Yeah. <laughs> Don't lose the satellite. It's expensive. I didn't have a productivi productivity module and- Oh, it probably wouldn't have worked because it's an end product. That wouldn't have worked anyway. How many science do we have in here? Oh jeez, all that stuff. That would get redelivered. Vegans. Why am I picking this up manually? Let's get the bots to do all this. Uh, that can go. Our light show can go here. Here we go again. Here we go again. Come on, God. <laughs> yes, I know my inventory is full. Okay, yeah, let's do some more dumping here. The rocket silo and the satellite. Let's go set that up. We'll let them deal with this. Take the uh, Spidey for a run. Oh, uh, power. Let's make sure there's power in this area. I think we can safely tell this to be de destroyed. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, we'll be back. We'll be back after the bots catch up. Oh, they're so, like, backed up. <laughs> they were so backed up. Holy crap. You guys are not going to be able to see what's on the screen pretty soon. Okay. Uh, how is our storage? Let's check here. Oh, we got lots. Lots of storage. These ones that have things marked in them. Oh, that, that actually is full. I kind of don't want that ore there at all. We'll have to plug that in somewhere else. But rocket silo, where do we want that? It has to be in this new base. I think I'll put it... It could be more central. Let's put it in the middle here. Rocket silo. I do want to have mod uh, beacons around it, maybe. Probably not necessary. We can always move it. For now, we'll put it there. Let's make sure it has power. Substation somewhere around here. There. I'm gonna get out of Spidey for now. Because I can run faster, I think. Oh, what's this chest doing here? Oh, yeah, this chest I was gonna destroy. 
to get rid of this stuff forever. But never mind. <laughs> okay, rocket. Rocket man. I probably should have copied the whole thing. Because now I have to set up all my uh, requesters again. Actually, there's only three things coming in. It's not too bad. You know what? We can make it even better. We can go... Can we go shift right click on this as well? Oh yeah, perfect. Perfect. Okay. That makes it so much easier. I wish I... A few of you mentioned that in a comment that you could do that. I just had forgotten about it. <clears throat> I think I overmade Red Science. Um, there's a whole bunch of it. Let's go see our logistics thing here. Red Science. 20,000 Red Science. Yeah, I left the pass passive provider chest open. Uh, so it kind of made too much. But it'll it'll burn through it. Okay, what else do we need here? We need a satellite. Let's stick the satellite in there. Actually, that's a requester chest. Uh, we'll probably build a, a satellite somewhere else. But I think I'll put passive provider here instead. Stick the satellite in there. And... Rocket control units. We're not building any right now. Let's build some. Where should we do them? <clears throat> I gotta move all this stuff over. Let's do that real quick. I want to squish this up against here. Make this even denser. I'm using the cut, cut and paste. Super nice and bots. Assuming your bots are not completely saturated with work. Oh, I just did the wrong thing. But not, doesn't matter, there's undo. <laughs> that's not even a mod, that's just built in, I love it. Apparently there's like a lot, a big undo buffer. Okay, that's moved over. I'll either fill stuff in here or move this whole block over. You know what, let's move the whole block over. I want to see them do it. Here we go, cut. Paste. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so satisfying. Oh, so satisfying. Okay, yeah, yeah. I need some concrete around here. Lovely. Okay, rocket control units. We'll build those close to the rocket. Let's do... Um, I do have a blueprint for this. Let's have a dedicated lane for rockety stuff. Control units. Where are those? Here we are. Get the requester set up. Good. Oh, we're probably out of these things. Speed module one. That should be enough to kick things off. Speed module one. What are you looking for? Red circuits. We are making them. We're just, we're just low on red circuits, <clears throat> which probably means we're low on green circuits. Or we're maybe out of something else. Let's see. These are all running. Demand is high, I guess. The other thing we can do with this tool, um, this measuring mod that I have installed, we can measure the whole factory and see all our production rates here nets and everything. I mean, the graph does stuff like this as well, but this is kind of even more uh, information sometimes. So, net, we're consuming 162 more red circuits than we're making. You can also see it in here. You can do, like, circuits uh, for the last 10 minutes. We're producing 231 and we're consuming 239. Uh, we're consuming a lot of green circuits, though. We could probably boop up, uh, boop up, boost up red circuits. I kind of don't want the red signs right exactly here, but like that's fine, I guess. These are all running. Let's do more green circuits. 
I'm kind of running out of room here. We'll go to the side here. It is kind of getting hard to see what the hell's going on. Green circuits. Let's build some more of those. Shut those in there. I kind of have a new mindset now where just things are just very ephemeral. It's so easy to just tear stuff down and rebuild it that... Um, yeah. Not, not too afraid of that now. Okay, we're waiting for frames here. On the way, zero. Local storage, zero. I think I'm building a lot of bots right now. That's probably part of the reason. Frames are over here. Yeah, we need way more of these. Okay, let's do that. Uh, make sure I copy the right piece here. Low density structures. Let's chuck these in. Let's make a whole row of these. <laughs> if if we stamp down too many, it's not too bad. It's not too much of a problem because they'll just um, they just won't get enough. Uh, if, if we don't have enough, they'll fill up. And if we uh, sorry, if we don't have enough, they, they won't fill up. And if we have too much, they'll just stuff the chests and be done with it. I need some accumulators, just in case I really go go overboard here with the power. I tore out all my solar, so I have no accumulators anywhere anymore. Uh, actually, that's, that's a lie. We have some. We have 380 megajoules. Where the heck are those, actually? I think they're just part of our turrets, probably, up here. Got a few, a few up there. I think that's the last of the solar, though. There might be some down here. No. Nope. Oh, this is not powered up anymore. Doesn't matter, though. All the lighters are pretty much gone. Yeah, these are all building. <clears throat> that should help things along. Oh yeah, beacons. We need we need to be building some beacons up in our mall here. Yep. Good module production. Let's put in some actually I don't want to copy that. I wanna do a fresh new fresh new thing. Beacons. And let's copy that there. Yeah, red circuits. Let's not make too many beacons. Oh yeah, one. It defaults to one because it's in my blueprint. That's probably good enough for now. Red circuits, how you doing? Not too bad. I think... I don't want to... I, I do want to keep the, uh... Kind of the walkway area, plus the power pole area, free of stuff. So we do add more red circuits. I think I'll just put them over here. Now, I, I am trying to keep things together that are made together, if that makes sense. So green circuits are close to red. Um, yeah. I'm trying to keep stuff together. Where the heck can we stuff this? Uh, let's stuff it right here. Beautiful. I love it. Alerts. Does he not have enough space? <laughs> Spidey? I didn't have to go in him, I guess. Oh! His trunk is full. Oh, because he doesn't have auto purge for all this crap. Uh, hmm. Hmm? While we're in the spider, can we just dump the stuff manually? Uh, I don't think 
I can open the trunk and a box at the same time. Okay, um, I guess we'll do it this way. No. Go into my inventory? I think so. Purge all this. If you guys know if there's a way to copy all the logistic rules from your person into the bot, that would be really handy. I don't think there's a way, but... Oh, it keeps adding these because it's <laughs> requesting these. We don't need these anymore. Remove those. Get rid of these. Okay, that's probably good. Let's get out of Spidey for now. He is handy for running over stuff, though. That's for sure. Radio control units. We're going to need more of these for sure. I don't want to go too crazy with these. Because they're pretty expensive. Speaking of expensive, let's make sure we got productivity module 3s in here. And these I might want to beacon. What's the build time in these? Three seconds. Yeah, this is the kind of stuff I should beacon. What are we doing for a rocket? 2%! <laughs> We're out of everything. <laughs> oh, we're out of everything. I, I have a feeling I might be overbuilding something. And that's sucking up all the resources. Maybe? Let's make sure we're not. Oh no, this is wrong. Not, not that it matters, but these should all be set to one stack. Otherwise, we're gonna have like a potential flood of red circuits. those all up here. Like that. Make sure they're all in stack. Yeah, I think the other whole set is like that as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm too lazy to do it individually, so what I'm going to do is take this out. We have a bot army. Let's use it. Uh, set this stack to one... Then copy it. Rebuild it. Okay. Wherever I can save clicks, I'm going to do it. What's eating all these red circuits? Um. We're not overproducing anything here. No, that's good. Those are good. We do have quite a bit of surplus here. Of these blue things, but we're going to be using those up in no time. I think it's looking good, though. I need to do some balancing in terms of ratios and demand and stuff. But it's, it's coming together. We didn't quite finish off the factory. Let's go rip apart the last bit of the factory. And then we'll call it here. Oh, my balancer. <clears throat> these are in blueprints now, so I don't really need these. Let them catch up to me. We are doing some provider just for the steel that I'm making. This is actually a br really big steel factory. How much? How much ore is there? It was quite a bit when I started. 25 million. Nothing compared to these bigger piles out here, like... There's 100 million over here somewhere. 100 million. Lots. That's, I don't think that's our bottleneck right now, though. This can go. I think we can start ripping this out. Heavy oil. Oh, we don't need any of that stuff over there anymore. We have no power right here, though. 
That is not connected. Uh, let's go connected to the city block. Because all the city blocks are connected. Uh, Nilos, the guy who came up with the city block, he actually uh, replied to a tweet when I released the last video. He's a factorio god. Okay, look at my rocket production here. This is a... Uh, this is all stopped because we're not sending it something. Or no, it's full. Let's rip her out. Oh, you know what? I should have saved it. I'm gonna undo that. <laughs> I might want to use this blueprint. Actually, there's not much to it. Uh, light oil in. No, screw it. Let's take it out. We're gonna come up with a new design for that anyway. So this can go... There's some heavy oil in there, it's gonna get destroyed. I don't care. <laughs> Goodbye. I think we just cut the power by mistake. No, it's still connected up there. So we'll fuel, you can come out of here. What do we got? Oh, that's our smelting, we'll leave that for now. Water pumps, don't need. This can go. This can go. Slot fuel can go. Landfill. Oh, I'm not making landfill up in the base. I will remove most of this. Oh, I removed the belt. That was dumb. I have no power here. Story mode. This is not on the network. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. I don't have brick smelting in the new base, so we'll have to build that. I think I'm gonna leave the rest of it here until we, uh... This is still firing away. Where's all this going? Uh, rocket control units going nowhere. A bridge to nowhere. Let's stick those in a passive provider. Actually, I'm going to put an active provider. So that it gets taken away. Power, power, power. Let's use that. Do we want to be building these here anymore, though? Actually, you know what? Screw this. Take this out. We're gonna build up the new base. Screw that. Um, Mr. Spidertron. Well, we'll get rid of that. Okay. Hey, we're making chests here. Those are being made in the new mall. Don't need those. Yes, my inventory is full. I think that's m most of the factory. Uh, actually, what's here? Another rocket fuel depot. Actually, I want to keep this. I kind of like this setup, so I'm probably going to just clone this whole thing and feed it a new oil line. I'm just going to move it closer, closer to the base. Yeah. Now I said I wouldn't build kind of anything outside the base. Uh, so I might incorporate it into the base, <clears throat> but maybe not. The actual rocket fuel part of it is, we could build the rocket fuel in the base, but ship in, hmm. I need to kind of decide exactly what I'm doing with liquids. I could ship solid fuel in, oh, it needs light oil as well. That's the problem. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up here with the one hour mark. That's kind of where I like to keep the videos, and I'm losing my voice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.